Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you, Lord. Take all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You're welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. The wake-up call that you had at that night was a call for you to pray. At that specific hour, where you were at that 3 a.m., where you find yourself, a call happened. A call happened that disrupts your sleep from 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. That was a wake-up call. God was trying to tell you, pray. Pray because they had a meeting about you. Now, there are many of us when we hear strange noises, we don't even know what it means. We ask God for the assignment, but when the Lord gives us the assignment, we still need wisdom to carry out that assignment. Hallelujah. May the Lord give us the assignment. May the Lord bless us with wisdom, even when we have that assignment. <laughs> they had a meeting about you, and the Lord bring it to your attention. He said, pray. This is a wake-up call. This moment, this is where they are. You know, that hour of 3 a.m., 12, 2, 3, 4, they are hours of the night. That is the hour of the good and the evil. They make an exchange. They pass each other. The good and the bad, they walk past. You know, <laughs> if you understand warfare, you will understand what it means. When we say the power of the night, it is an hour of the good and the bad. Especially that 3 a.m. that you see so, to that 4 a.m. It is an hour of the good and the bad. Like, okay, they might be in their meeting by 12, 1, 2, all of that. But when it is time for 3, 4, that is when they are returning home. That is when they are returning. When they are returning, they deliver messages. They deliver messages. Hallelujah. That is what happened when they are returning from their meeting places. Glory to Jesus. Now, they had a meeting. But this message is not to scare you. It is to tell you that God has already given you the power to tread upon serpent and scorpion. <laughs> To tread upon serpent and scorpion. And the Bible said, they shall by no means hurt you. Glory to Jesus. You know, the Bible says, surely there will be a meeting. You agreed or not. The Bible says, surely they will gather. So because the gathering is not of the Lord. Whosoever that gathered against the people of the Lord, they shall scatter. And the Bible said, no weapon that is formed or fashioned against the children of God, that will prosper. But hear me very well. The meeting that was held by you could not use fruit. Why? Because you are a child of God. Why? Because you carry the glory of God. Why? Because the grace of the Lord is upon you. Hallelujah. I pray for you, child of God. No weapon form or fashion against you that will prosper. Every evil meeting held somewhere against your life, against your settlement, against your destiny. By the power in the name of Jesus, the Lord release confusion into their meetings. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. May the Lord continue to disappoint the plans of the wicked. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.